my name is Partha Majumdar. My background is in statistics, but over a period of time became very interested in population genetics and I went on to do a PhD in population genetics. Subsequent to my PhD, pop continued to do population genetics, but also started to do some work on biomedical genomics or disease genetics. After a few years, I came back to India, joined the Indian Statistical Institute as a faculty member. In addition to doing my statistical research pertaining to genetics, I also opened a wet lab uh, and, and started to generate my own data. In about uh, 2007, 2008, there were some discussions on launching an international cancer genome consortium project essentially to catalog the various kinds of genetic variations in a large number of diverse types of cancer. Uh, I was contacted and eventually I sort of led the project that came to India and we decided to work on oral cancer, the most prevalent form of cancer among males in India. So we worked on oral cancer uh, and at that time introduced um, uh, new new technologies, the next generation sequencing technologies, and essentially the whole idea was to understand somatic mutations that drives oral cancer. One innovation was to introduce the next generation technologies in India, and it wasn't easy to uh, catalog somatic mutations without the new next generation sequencing technologies. The second innovation was various kinds of statistical methods um, uh, to analyze the sequence data, we identified eventually about 10 driver genes, 10 genes, mutations in which drives a normal tissue to becoming a tumor tissue. Uh, what we were also interested in understanding is, uh, is there a sequential um, uh, acquisition of variations in these various genes? We looked at uh, a precancerous lesion called leukoplakia transform into cancer. And so what we did was to sample from each uh, oral cancer patient who had a precancerous lesion in the oral cavity. So this was an innovative study design. We sampled an oral cancer, or the tumor tissue. We sampled uh, the leukoplakia tissue and we sampled the normal tissue from the same oral cavity. Uh, and using this study design, what we did was again sequence using you know, deep sequencing methods sequence all of the three uh, tissues and we identified that one gene called caspase 8, early variations in caspase 8 predisposes a leukoplakia tissue to becoming a tumor tissue. So using the next generation sequencing technologies and innovative study design, we were able to understand the sequence of events or the sequence of driver genes that uh, alterations in which actually drives uh, the, a normal tissue to becoming a leukoplakia and then becoming a tumor tissue. Uh, it actually has not impacted on therapy at all yet, but what we are hopeful is that since we have been able to identify early variations in certain specific genes, these can be targeted or these can be sequenced in order to predict whether an individual is going to become uh, um, affected with oral cancer. Also. We are uh, right now thinking of developing a gene panel based on which we can actually identify uh, patients um, either who are already uh, afflicted with the disease and look at their progression or uh, uh, for early detection of cancer. So, you know, we are doing um, the spatial analysis of liver cancer as well using StereoSeq primarily to understand the spatial uh, distribution of these cells and cellular components in which these variants arise that lead to or liver cancer. Uh, since the data on all of the samples have not yet been generated, we have not started the formal uh, statistical and bioinformatic analysis of that data. But from what I've seen of the data, it seems quite uh, impressive and robust. I think the CQAL cap capability launched by, uh, our, our portfolio launched by um, MGI is very, very impressive, is extremely comprehensive, and for any kind of disease research, any kind of population research, um, I think this portfolio is going to be uh, the portfolio in the years to come. 
um, because it's, it's just one, under one umbrella, we can do any kind of uh, uh, analysis that we want to do. The benefits of genomics is percolating in everybody's mind. Everybody's understanding that genomics is the future in, in order for us to prevent disease, in order for us to treat diseases. So everybody is now realizing that genomics is the future. Now there, I think, uh, this comprehensive portfolio that uh, MGI has launched is going to play a major role.